All right, so today, another day, another day to get it going. Beautiful dogs out here, beautiful American Bulldogs, Brother Jack's Bulldogs. We're going to run them in two. And today, I'm not going to do anything strenuous. Just let them have a free reign, enjoy themselves. <laughs> Time to run and tire themselves out today. It's a nice day, overcast. She's gonna rally the troops. Let everybody know she's out. So they're not. Let her tire herself out real quick and then add somebody else. I like to do this, get that one-on-ones, but also when I run them in twos, man, it just, for time, you know, unfortunately, we all don't have endless amount of hours and days to, to spend with our dogs, but they can still get effective workouts and effective exercise when you run them together because they keep each other moving intensely and, and just high pace. So that's really what this is about. And then that quality bonding time. When I can get them to both obey at the same time, work together, if they're going to get something, or uh, just interacting, they're used to each other. So I like twos for many purposes. Now I'm going to let this guy out. He's a big ball of energy. They're great playmates together. He's definitely over 100 pounds. Solid young male, not quite two yet. Look at your boy, you ready? You ready? You ready? You ready to get him? <laughs> Go get him. Go get him. So they'll do their dance. Do their dance, she'll annoy the guitar out of him. Pulling on him. Then they're playing. And if it gets too much, they'll settle it down. He wants his ball. But yeah, this is what we do, man. We do this right here, man. You can see how they're getting that good work. Lateral movements, sprinting. It's great bonding interaction, man. The one thing I do like about my dogs and I try to keep within the yard is dogs that are solid but can move. Dogs that can move within the structure inside. Like my dogs, you can see. You can see their structure sound from the way they walk with their gait to their legs, their, their uh, shoulders, elbows, straight paws. We don't have a lot of issues like that being overly obnoxious in anything, any features. So try to keep them as natural as possible and as, as healthy, good breathing, good nares, all of that, I like all of it. We don't want them too heavy because um, I find that the heavier dogs get tired faster. They don't have, they're lazier to me. Uh, this is just based off my experience, in my opinion. Um, and it's just like anything, I play sports. Heavier guys don't last as long as lighter guys. We, we have less to carry. So the agility's there, the breathing's there, the athleticism is there. Um, it's what we want around here. Bigger is not always better. Don't get me wrong, we like a good man stopping size. Got to be able to control something, but for the most part, you know, good healthy weight is what we look for. And mentally, they're all sharp, they're all smart, they're all attentive, they're all aware. They don't just do dumb stuff. And they learn quickly and that's what we need around here, especially um, the old time, the old farm dogs, utility dogs, they need to learn fast because 
people didn't have time to train dogs and wait till they got old to finally figure out the program. They need them for work now. We need you to do things now to be an asset, not a liability. You got mouths to feed and you just sitting there eating up all the food and not helping. You can't have it. So I'm trying to stay true to those aspects of the utility, walking breed, the American Bulldog. A little tolerance, patience for each other. Good girl, come in here. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl, look at you. Look at you. This sucker loves his ball. It's a perfect day. Cloudy. It won't get overheated. We don't have an issue out here about that. I mean, they breathe well. They're pretty heat tolerant. They do great, so it's not a big deal for us, but it's always nice when it's a cool day, overcast. Feels good. So he's predominantly brindle. He's got a light brindle coat. His mama is his daddy. His mama right here. She has, she has dark. She looks black, but she's not. She's really dark brown with a, a tan red brindle. If you can see it, you can kind of see it right there. Yeah. Solid. Solid. Solid mama. You got girls like males out here. So either way, if they take out the mama, if they take out the daddy, it's going to be a good one. We don't lose over here. We don't miss out on any quality traits because they all possess them. He making a bunch of noise. He loves nature. That's Bobo. He's talking. He can talk. Make all the noise in the world. And then get out and lick the face. He'll rough him up, but he'll play just like the rest of them. And there's his female twin. Not Maru. Pure speed and athleticism right there, boy. She's no joke. Yeah, she's no joke. And this one got to drive out this world. You'd be hard pressed to find another hog dog with a drive like she got. Determination. Fierce. She gets the job done. Still waiting on these soils to kind of clear up, man. These hard surfaces kind of whooped her. That's why we got them on dirt now. Try to clean up some of that. Got hay and other bedding to kind of soften everything up, but that's the best thing. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. There go your boy. Riggy diggity. Big rig. Everybody's teammate. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, love and attention all day, every day. Big chest. So anyway, this is what we're doing. We're running them. We're running them. So I like this setup that we had. We had a good setup before. But this one is a lot more free freedom for the dogs. There's a lot more um, things that I can do together with groups of dogs. They can all see each other. They were kind of spread out before and I didn't like that. So now we're all together and we all train together. They all see and learn together. So it's been a good deal. It's worked out great. They are up in the, underneath trees, which 
gives a lot of shade and wind breaking even while the leaves are gone i mean it still does that provides that in the summertime it's going to be the coolest place on the property right there right by right in front of the creek and uh with all the tree cover it's going to be the coolest spot right there and there's like a wind tunnel through that creek so they'll get nice good breeze constant breeze uh, they're all on dirt which I'm now just getting back to the basics, man. I think sometimes we got so caught up in, look, she trying to put herself up. She's done. We got caught up in what looks cool or what, you know, some of the functionality of it in terms of what we prefer as opposed to what the dogs prefer. But every time I put dogs, I started noticing every time I put dogs on grass, they, they were laying, they were digging in it, just rolling around in it because they need the earth, earthing. You know, it's a, it's a natural thing. People need to do it. That's why walking around barefoot is uh, important, man. You got to touch that earth, man. It, it's easier on their body, their joints, cooling them off, everything. So we can get back to the natural basics, man. Let dogs be dogs at the same time. We're going to take care of them, protect them whenever they need us. But I mean, they didn't get this far for no reason. We do everything as best we can around here. Look at it. the crew man appreciate you guys tuning in i have more videos of them coming in i have more videos of different things going on so like subscribe share hit me up leave a comment you know i'd like to know what you guys think I'd like to know you know any questions or any advice or anything i'll take it out man i'm no professional but i do like what i like and i have a standard and a style that I want to stick to. And so far, it's been working out for me and the people that I have purchased puppies from me. Um, I'm not going to say I'm a uh, all breeder or anything like that, but occasionally I will have some litters and, you know, I'll keep everybody informed on that. You can check it out on the website as well, brotherjacksbulldogs.com. And yeah, we just. We live in our life, man. I love dogs. Love these guys. They're working purposes. For working purposes, family purposes. Fun, companions. And we can't beat it. Can't beat it. So, here we are. Here we are. Who's next? Wait for the next group to come out.